complexity and learn. In today's video, we'll be discussing about performance qualification test. Please like, subscribe, and share the video. What performance qualification test is also known as water qualification test or water performance qualification test. It is used to determine the ability of a water, warding operator, or tack water to make sound work. This is mostly done before any welding work commences on a project. Additionally, it can be done during production. To get an in-depth understanding of performance qualification test, PQT, ASME 9 section KW300 gives a detailed description. AWSD 1.1 Section 4 also gives a detailed description of performance qualification test. Each performance qualification test shall be in accordance with a qualified WPS or Standard Warding Procedure Specification SWPS. This is a sample of a WPS. In this sample, you can see the various parameters that need to be followed by the order or a tack order or a warding operator. This includes type of material to be used, joint preparation, filler metal to be used. SWPS also gives a form that is form KW482. It's a suggested form for wording procedure specification. This can be found in ASME 9. Test coupons. Out of wording, a test coupon shall be prepared. The flowing would be observed according to the WPS. The root gap, root misalignment, base metal to be used, word position. So this shows a plate about to be warded. This is also a stainless steel plate. This is for a pipe to be warded. Test coupons for warders shall have a minimum length of six inch or 150 millimeters. For a meter pipe, the number of test coupon should not exceed four the following parameters will be observed filler metal specification the word progression the current type and polarity after a, after completion of wording visual inspection will be carried out on the various test pieces Once the visual inspection has been accepted by a third party and then the quality inspector, the coupons will be sent for volumetric inspection. The following volumetric inspections may be used, radiography or UT. In each case, each indication characterized as cracks, lack of fusion or incomplete penetration are unacceptable irrespective of its length. The entire length shall be examined except the discarded ends. For ASME 9, acceptance criteria for RT or radiography can be found in KW191.1 0.22. This shows that any type of crack or zone of incomplete fusion or penetration is unacceptable. For UT, acceptance criteria can be found for ASME 9 can be found in KW191.2.2 as shown below. In the case of a production ward, 
acceptance criteria can be found in 191.2.2. What happens if the water fails the water qualification test or the test? If the volumetric examination is completed and the water passes, a water certificate is issued to the water. This in would include the water name, an ID, the employer, the material the water can word. Various variables such as wording process, type of base metal, type of filler metal, type of joint, thickness, shielding gas, current or polarity may would also be included in the water test certificate. Additionally, a water ID is issued to each water on site for easy identification of the water. Here is a sample of a water ID. Certificate valid validity. Certificate validity. If the water or water age in any wording for more than six months, the water certificate becomes invalid. Also, if there's a doubt in the ability of the water, the water certificate also can become invalid. Thank you very much.